Today I'm going to do something that I have always wanted to do, which is decorate a tree outside. I've wanted to do this for several years and just somehow never found the time to do it. And then I found this tree, not found it, I knew it was there. Uh, but I saw this tree this year and just paid kind of particular attention to it and realized this could be the perfect tree to decorate. So I've got some little Christmas balls, I've got some red yarn and some white yarn you can see that there and some kind of it's kind of silvery gold sort of and some green yarn i don't really know if i'm going to use the green yarn because this tree is green but i'm going to crochet some little chains as garland and that will be really fun because those little chains work up so easy i mean you could make a chain that was 20 feet if you wanted i don't need one that's 20 feet but maybe a couple feet and i was hoping maybe i could just kind of lay them in the boughs of that tree there and i've got like i said the little balls the green and the red so i think this tree is going to be pretty and then the fun thing is is in our neighborhood there's only a few people who live on this road but as people are coming in and out they'll get to see this really pretty christmas tree so the first thing i'm gonna do is do my garland so i can get it on before the ornaments just making a little slip knot here so i've got something to attach on to and then this is all there is to it and like i said you could make this 20 feet if you wanted to it's actually pretty cool here today it was pretty much below freezing this morning maybe right at 30 or 32 which is nice because we've had such warm Christmases and I'm ready for a cold Christmas. If we can't get snow, we can at least maybe get a Christmas that's not 60 degrees. I'm going to measure and see what I think about this because it's getting pretty long. This tree is definitely bigger around than I initially thought. So I'm gonna have to keep crocheting here for a little while. All right, I measured and I think this is gonna be long enough. This thing's probably at least like six feet, but I think this will be long enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off, but then what I'm gonna do is hold on to it. So I'm gonna make maybe at least two more. And then that way, instead of having to go back and forth to the tree every time, I can just measure it against this one. All right, cut our yarn there. And just pull it through. The next color I've got is going to be this really pretty white. I love this stuff. It's definitely spun a lot different. This is like very tightly spun. This is more like a roving type yarn. I love this stuff. I think this is going to be so pretty on this tree. So I better get to crocheting. <laughs> get to making my chains. For now I'm going to hang this one around my neck so I don't have to hold it. Making a slip knot. And here we go. You know, truthfully, if I was using a bigger diameter hook than this, this would probably go faster. But this is just what I grabbed. And I like the look of, like, tightly knit or woven or crocheted stuff. I don't typically like it if it's, like, super big and bulky. So this is just what I got. This is just what I'm going to go with too far in this to go back now. I've used this yarn to make so much stuff in the past and it works up so pretty because it's just this gorgeous cream color that pretty much goes with anything. Since it's more of like a, a roving weight yarn, it just looks like super rustic if that makes sense. It gives it more of a homemade look than the kind of tightly spun yarn. Since it's so cold and windy out here, I actually went in the house to finish the rest of the garland. So it's all ready and I'm going to start putting this on the tree behind me and then I'll see about putting the little ornaments on it.
All right, I definitely wish I had put the white in the middle instead of it having, having it be two reds and then a white, but this is hard, y'all, and it is so cold. My hands are numb, super windy, so this is just kind of the best, best that I got here. It's not completely terrible. Now I'm gonna get on some of those cute little Christmas balls. The tree is done. I think it kind of looks slightly pitiful, <laughs> but that's just what, I, what I've got. And I still enjoy getting to decorate it. And I hope that my neighbors as they're passing through will enjoy getting to see it. So I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. The cute little balls there definitely show up well. So that's nice. That's gonna sum this video up. I wanna get inside because it's pretty cold. Hope you enjoyed getting to see me decorate this tree outside. You have to drop a comment and let me know if you've ever decorated a tree outside like this or not, or if you would ever want to do something like that. But as always, thank you for watching. God bless you, God keep you, and I'll see you on the next video.